Hey, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. We're back to playing some more Red Dead Redemption. I believe we are in Blackwater. Water. <laughs> we're in Blackwater now and uh, yeah, we're gonna go on two submissions. Um, a couple of you guys have told me that if I'm not yet sure about what I feel about hmm, the detective, I'll definitely know how I feel about him in a while or later on with the game. So let's go and see that for ourselves. Oh, wait, what this? Oh, wait. Oh, high five. We could do these two things. I heard the same thing. I did. Oops. Oh wait, oh we could do a mission here. All right, you know what, let's just go here because it's the closest thing <laughs> for purely scientific purposes. Ah, Marston, sir, it's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me, I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Where the devil is the stars? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Down. I I've never been so excited in all my life. Wait, where's my horsey? Oh, there's my horsey. Come here. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Hey, Nasta is sure. here. Oh, you guys mentioned that the voice actor of Nastas is also the voice this actor of Dutch. <laughs> I can't unhear it now. What are you talking about back there? Where are we going? Wait, let me just Yeah, remove this. Wait. Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> What the hell with this professor, I swear. I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. A touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with. A bear! Shoot it! Shoot it! It angered her. Now we have no choice. Man. Easy. Down you come. My god, that was terrifying! He shot her first! Before any of his friends turn up. Oh my god, such an ass, ass wipe, this professor. My goodness, I'm still shaking! What a ferocious animal! That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, uh -huh, it most likely right. would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir... Here we are. But I sir what? Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Oh, I 
I feel bad for the mama bear. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have attacked us if it if it wasn't for Professor. Well, what's his name? Professor McGonagall. Oh wait, no, that's Harry Potter. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. <laughs> Look at what you've done to us. Look at us. We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I, but, but I, well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster, the likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up. We come in peace. What was he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <gasps> Holy shit! Damn. Oh my god! Professor, get down now! Why? Are you kidding me? Shit! You almost got me! Marston! You have to get us out of here! Just keep your head down! us come on you know how this is gonna end come on This is dead. This is crazy. What a rough start <laughs> to this episode. The Let's go. Fuck. Well, I can safely say that was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Oh, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. McDougal. And I'm glad to be back. I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. He is such so a drug addict. you planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. Easy. Leave your horse in the alley. Okay. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of mind. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Get some rest, Professor. 
Does he think they're cannibals or something? God. Do this now. American lobbyists. Oh, there's another McCon McCanoogle, McGoogle, McDoodle mission. But I want to do some stranger first. Oh man. It's still close. Okay, fine. Let's just do this one first. The prodigal son returns to Yale. <gasps> prodigal son returns? Professor! This is involved Dutch, I wonder. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. <sighs> What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. <sighs> Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages. Savages. I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. <laughs> I'm from Connecticut. Professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? <gasps> oh, yes. <sighs> yeah, that can't be clean. <clears throat> You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, oh. Ah! oh great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <gasps> <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the Professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Damn, he, he really is. Well, I come out there. We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boy's here. They already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology. Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him. No. Watch you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory yeah. tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a joke. <laughs> oh, it's such a bad joke. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. I know this is a serious moment, but it's Can just kind of so way? funny to me. Well, I, I think it only became funny ever since he, he said that joke. <laughs> John! Help me, John! Stay back! Where the oh, teacher gets it! Onward! Come on now! Sniper rifle. Oh, shocks. Okay, fine. Is that the best you can do? Wait, how do I get my sniper rifle? Bolt action. Oh wait, 
a uh, rolling black rifle. For a more time, little man. Do something with me. Oh, nice. What do these people want from me? You boys don't fright me, man. You ever Oh, shots. One more. There we go. Stop whining, for Christ's sake! Oh, no, we don't have any more bullets! Can't miss. Come on, then! Let's make a break for it! The horses should be in an alleyway down here! Sorry, horsey. Research is complete. Much oh, he's thought, gone. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Aww. Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir.
vacant property. Maybe I could buy that. Oh my goodness, I remember this from Red Dead 1. 2, sorry, Red Dead 2. I'm ready when you are, mister. Get on in. Let's buy it and then let's save it. Look at me. Multiple properties. <laughs> There you go. Okay, I want to do this stranger mission the wrong way, so I'll go on ahead and do that. Can I ride All the right, stagecoach? We'll hop on in. Oh, let's try to ride this passenger. Uh, okay, it's kind of my first time doing this. Sorry. Nature's hope. Wait, where do I want to go? I want to go to Blackwater. There you go, Blackwater. Nine dollars. Okay, Take fine. Let's do Blackwater. it. You want to get some shut eye? Oh, you could just skip the desk. Dude, no, why should you just fast travel? I thought this would be like something fun to watch. Go. Is this gonna be the pace the entire time? <laughs> Wait, I'm curious. Oh, what's that? Oh wait, no. There. Oh no, I ride my horse faster than this. <laughs> Might as well just skip the destination. A A. Maybe they're gonna show clips prior to us um prior to us arriving. Go to the wrong one. Okay, let's head on out. Oh, Hop in. Let's go. There. Oh, wow. Well. Come back between 6 p.m. and 7 a.m. God damn it. How about the lobbyists? Yeah. Oh, here we go. This should be interesting. Hey there, fella. What do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate Johns? Why, that no good lying, backstabbing bastard, I like to see him horse whipped. <laughs> I'd like Why to see him ask, horse whipped. Friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ah, uh, as I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even better governor. Oh, what? I consider Such black it an wheel. honor to call him my friend. <laughs> Wise man. <sighs> That's... hi yi yi Return to blackmailer for your reward. Where is the blackmailer? Gosh darn. Howdy, Mr. Marston. Oh, there we go. That's where the American lobby is. is. That we could do another mission. Easy money. 
money. Great men are not always wise. That's true. That's true. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. This should be interesting. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. That door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. Nobody shoots until I say. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. The bastard's killed. Hold the fire. They're in the window. Oh, what Pick the them heck? down there. Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. We can take them. That's the spirit. I love it. Let's move. They'll cover the windows from up top. My mistake, officer. Marston, shoot the door open. Oh, sorry. I was just out in the open. I didn't even duck anywhere. I was like, mm. 
It's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? Fifteen? Sixteen. Dodge, don't do anything Run stupid. Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the I master don't now. It. I don't trust it. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. You don't have to be a saint to save someone, though. I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? Huh? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. <laughs> oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Oh, oh shit! God oh, damn. my God! Come on! We can catch him if we hurry! Fuck! Dutch is such an there. asshole! You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time I'll just shoot the girl. Get on your horses. I just saw Dutch make a run for it. Such an asshole. Even to Abigail. He was only saying that to round me up. Hey, what happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. Yeah. Wow, look at us. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model. The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Hug on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. A violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? But now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Who the hell are you fellas anyway? Lawmen or army? We are neither, Mr. Marston. But I have the authority over both. You bastards can't ever give a straight answer, can you? There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot! Oh, shucks. Fuck, I wanted to hide in that tree.
Schatz. Oh god damn, there's a lot more here. Never mind. We're good. Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him. Don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> what a dick. He's just, he's just being a dick now. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll go on ahead and use the restroom for now. Hello, I'm back. Ready? Oh, <laughs> okay, let's do it. I want to go to the wrong woman, so it has to be 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I think we'll make it. I think we will make it. If we won't make it, I'm going to get so faced. Hey, Clara. Hello, mister. Got you some money. Oh, oh. You very kind. Very kind. And how's Harold? How's my Harold? <gasps> Didn't go so well. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? <gasps> Unfortunately so. I, I, I must go to his grave. Afraid I don't know where that is. <laughs> He'll be buried in the cemetery in the family plot. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll hurry, I can... I can make it to his funeral. Bruh. We were the ones who killed him. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Anyway, let's go on ahead and do one more mission. Wait, I think this is pretty far. I think he's coming. Turn the stolen horse. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. <laughs> Let's just kill him. Make it easier. Now I'm robbing you, partner. Yeah. Somebody get back his horse. Wait, your horse is right there. Ah, <laughs> he didn't come to us! My bad. Yo, shit! Oh my god! He's going away! Come back here! <laughs> he went right away again! Come back here! I think this one's yours, partner. Much appreciated, friend. Go! Sorry, I, we almost ran over cops. <laughs> of all people. <laughs> 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Why? Wow, what time is it? Oh my god, it's 2 in the morning. Well, let's look at the map. Oh, I guess this is the only thing that we have to do now. <laughs> Let me see. Easy. Oh no! Oh no! Collision! Collision! There we go. How do you do? Look, you know that engine who's always in the saloon? Yeah. Come on. Uh, Jump. Yes. Hey there. Or actually, I think I just have to run. Run, run, run. Wait, what's the song that has the word run? I think there are quite quite a few. Oh no, my horsey. Oh wait. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> wrong building. It's over here. There we go. 
and you will know the truth. What's the truth? Oh, I thought they were pointing the camera. <gasps> Bro, fuck that. We're gonna load it. <laughs> fuck that. We're gonna load. We're gonna. We're just gonna load. <laughs> Cause I I accidentally skipped the C. My bad. My bad. One. 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 As fast as you can, you can catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the controller to the side so that I don't accidentally skip it. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. <laughs> but since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. What an asshole. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. In the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you were just talking about is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. yeah, as I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? No. Now that you mention it, no. <laughs> then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. You know what? I don't like them. Now I know. I don't like them. Ooh. Now 
Keep your finger off that trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Come quick! Take a look at this thing! But you know what? This game kind of irks me with how some of the characters are, with how just downright mean, evil they are. But just like with any other places or any other time, there are good and bad people. And for me, John is one of the good people. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. Jeremy has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Oh, wait, this is. <laughs> Hold your fire! Give the word. Oh shit, I was about to test the, the test the Gatling gun. Good thing he said that. Ooh, kill the West. There they are! Oh. Open fire! Oh man, I'm gonna have to kill them on the horse again! Who wants this now? Goddamn savages! You wanna stop doing that? Oh. Where are they coming from? They're like rats! Oh shit, am I gonna die? Oh fucking shit. Was I just supposed to stay on the Gatling gun? Missions. Oh. 
Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to a student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. Mm-hmm. And what if I say no? <laughs> you have no choice. Now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> oh, here he goes, Abigail. Mount up, man. Let's move out. Okay, wait, before we go, because I feel like we're near, we're near some pretty important stuff. I need to... <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hit it. Hit it. Hey. Please just get Dutch already. So you're the one who's gonna kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. This is suicide if you ask me. My scouts have seen that fort of his. I wanted to wait for more men, but them city boys back there weren't having none of it. And you answer to them? Unfortunately, it seems that now we do. Them city boys. <laughs> they said you was in a gang with this Dutch Vanderlyn. I was once, a long time ago. Don't seem like the kind of fella you want to run with. Unless I completely misjudge your character, of course. When he turned crazy, I left. At least I tried to leave. Until those suits back there came and knocking, threatened to kill my wife and son if I didn't go after them. Strange times we live in, partner. Strange times. Mm -hmm. You know what? I just realized. I feel like even if it's I meet funny the boy. Business. Army, government men, criminals, with all due respect. You're telling me. Too many hands on the tiller, if you ask me. This is how mistakes happen. My boys Thank don't you. know who's giving the orders no more. Thank, Thank you. you for me, mister. We get up there, it ain't gonna matter. It'll be every man for himself. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, if I meet the voice actor of John, I feel like I won't even really see that person as a person. I'll see that person as John. Station. Okay. I was kind of waiting for them to talk yet.
Okay, wait, you know what? Let's just get ahead. Anyways. Oh, wait, no. I see my thought about the voice actor. Oh, we're back in the mountains. Nothing good ever happens in the mountains. Let me just wait for them. I think it's the right thing to do. They're too slow. Let's just go. Yeah. You blow that gate open. Oh, Soldier. nice. <laughs> Forward, move in! It's Follow time to kill me. these motherless bastards! Motherless na nga, bastards pa! Isn't bastard motherless already? Or is, is bastard just fatherless? Push forward! For the love of God! God damn it! Let's finish this! Close one. But I just decided to go for it. Face touch alone. 
Oh, shit. Looks like it's me and you, John. No way. You should all stay at home. I suggest you follow me. This is the United States Army. You nearly got me. Working for the government, John. There's always a choice. You're just too blind to see. They got my family. Your family? Abigail was any man's wife, John. Yeah, you a Just like you. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Nice, we got him. You'll never take me alive, John. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh wait the hell? How in the world am I gonna get there? Oh here. Oh uh, you know what? I lost Dodge. I'm lost. I didn't know where to go. What the hell? Okay, I go up. Like, you'll never take me alive, John. Okay, then I go here. Oh, it's here. Oh, there's a ladder here. I'm a dummy. It's over, John. <laughs> I ain't leaving here without you. There's a tunnel. You're just like me, John. You can't change who you are. Screw I you, like guys. You. How do I get up? Oh, here's the ladder. Wow, he had books here and everything. This isn't a half. This isn't a bad place to live at. Interior wise, but probably the air ventilation is pretty bad. You can't erase the past, John. Still admit it, it won't make it go away. That's where you're wrong. Oh shit, he's gonna jump. And he's he's gonna jump. He won't want to be taken alive. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. Shoot him in the foot. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. Yeah, he always has a plan. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see, 
Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Oh, truth bombs. For conspiracy theories. Our time has passed. Yeah. <gasps> Shit, he really did. No. That is the most anticlimactic death I've ever so seen. The what end, the hell? The man's dead, Ross. Like, oh my god, he really killed himself. Sure. Can I see your gun? Hmm. Why? Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. <gasps> I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston. <sighs> I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. Oh, dude, I can't believe that's just offed himself like that. Crazy. Oh no, actually, it kind of was. It wasn't anticlimactic. It was a pretty good death scene. Like he really just, his last words were like, "We can't fight nature," and then he killed himself. Like, <gasps> boom. Bouillon. I can't. Oh my god, I can't believe it! That's just dead! This is crazy. Anyway, I. Wait, so what are the, what are the next couple of missions now? Oh, we have Abigail missions! Oh, nice! Nice, 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 nice. I can't wait. All right, so it seems like we're gonna start with the new chapter, Beecher's Hope or Abigail's or John's family's chapter, and I'm excited. I, whew, makes me feel like the game's not really over even though Dutch is dead, but huh, I, I mean, I could be wrong. This could be like the peaceful part of Red Dead Redemption, no spoilers. Anyway, as always, if you guys like this video, do give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.